Apple iPad Air 2. You know, they really can make a thin device. Apple really know what they're doing here in terms of engineering. You know, somehow with the iPad Air, we thought it was impossibly thin, and yet they managed to literally double the performance, increase the GPU performance by about 40%, and still make it slimmer. I really don't know how they do it, but it's a feat of engineering. Now in the next iPhone, I don't want to see a higher resolution display. I don't want to see, you know, lots of gimmicky new features. You know, I don't want to see enhanced fingerprint sensor control and that kind of thing. The things I really want to see here are, number one, waterproofing. I think that that's something that, you know, a lot of the iPhone family is missing and they really do, you know, you feel it when you switch from an Android to an iOS device because it's a really good feature. I think that the camera lens really needs to actually take a step up in terms of size. You know, there's only so far that many megapixels can go before they start to become limited by the size and quality of the sensor. On top of that, I think Apple should really actually up their speaker quality. Considering the iPhone and the iPod sort of line is basically their trademark and their, their, their whole flagship music listening device line, I think that they should really pay more attention to how music sounds. I think that they should build in a real top-notch equalizer, probably a digital amp as well to improve the sound quality to its optimal level. And last of all, shatterproof. I mean, the amount of people I see with smashed iPhone screens, it's ridiculous. Even iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, none of them have really stood the test of time like a lot of Android devices have, and I think that's one place Apple really needs to work on. The device does not need to be impossibly thin or so light that you can barely feel it in your hands. It needs to be strong enough to stand the sort of two years or so that a person's going to use it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're looking forward to this phone as much as I am, and don't forget to subscribe for more.